properties at that at that point they're at least very well screened and you know you're getting the best of the best and uh you know avoiding 99 percent of the of the noise of properties where the numbers don't work or they just don't have the the right fit for for investment you're listening to alternative investor mastermind where we do a deep dive on alternative investment opportunities and the lifestyle it can create Join Jack Krupe as he presents actionable tips and tricks in doing passive real estate away from mainstream strategies. Go beyond the usual fix and flips and try less explored yet rewarding investing ventures. From multifamily properties, mobile homes to cryptocurrencies, do not miss this opportunity to escape traditional assets and finally create wealth without Wall Street. Now your host, Jack. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Alternative Investor Mastermind. Uh, today, we're gonna talk about uh, the mindset shift that uh, often occurs and, and really needs to occur uh, for those to uh, get out of the traditional uh, stock market, Wall Street roller coaster, and uh, be investing primarily into alternative assets and primarily real estate uh, funds and syndications. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the mindset and the reasons behind the shift and then give some actionable uh, tips on uh, on how to start making, uh, you know, making some changes and, and get into investing uh, into alternative assets. So private real estate funds, private syndications offer an incredible opportunity for passive income. They're backed by tangible assets and uh, managed by seasoned professionals. So I am curious why so many people haven't taken advantage of this yet. And, uh, and I think the main reason is it is still somewhat new. They really changed the laws in 2012 and uh, uh, made alternative assets uh, more available. They changed the advertising rules through the Reg D uh, to uh, just really open it up to, uh, to more investors. Before, the, before 2012, these were what I'd call country club deals. You, you really had to know someone. And now with uh, just the availability of, of, of data, the internet, bigger pockets, uh, tons of different podcasts, um, they, the, these assets are going uh, more mainstream. So uh, a few reasons why people uh, tend to look for alternative assets. And uh, you know, the main one is uh, desire for financial freedom ability to live life on your own terms without worrying about money. Uh, passive income from uh, private real estate funds and syndications can allow and has allowed many investors to break free from the traditional nine to five, from a traditional W-2, and um, you know allows them to control their time and, uh, and live off of the passive income. Another one is stability and predictability. Uh, unlike the stock market, which can be up or down I think it was down 20% plus last year. It's recovered a, a good chunk of that this year. Um, the stock market can be highly volatile. Uh, real estate investments, especially in well-managed syndications, tend to be stable with predictable cash flow. And the rental income from those properties can provide a consistent stream of cash flow even during economic downturns. Uh, inflation's been in the news this year, and uh, private real estate uh, syndications can be a, a significant inflation hedge. Um, that has proved uh, over over generations that uh, that real estate uh, responds well. It is a significant hedge to uh, to inflation. Diversification: the average accredited investor that's worth between one and say ten million dollars you know, typically has a majority of their assets uh, in the in the stock market. Uh, if you have four hundred one ks, a large majority of that is is typically invested in, in the stock market. So, uh, diversifying into this asset class is is a really you know, really provides true diversification uh, for those that have a majority of their investments into uh, the traditional financial system. And in addition, there's a number of different assets from multifamily to self-storage to mobile home parks to student housing to senior living to ground up construction. There is another level of diversification even within the private real estate funds. Uh, greater control. Now, that is uh, may sound a bit like an oxymoron because we are talking about passive investing. However, the difference is if you're investing into index funds or mutual funds, or even just trying to pick stocks, you know, you're, you're such a small fry and uh, you really don't have control. Sometimes there'll be a press release and the, the, the stock may tank because Wall Street doesn't like a piece of news that was put out. And you're, you're really just at the whims of, of Wall Street psychology. However, um, in the private funds and real estate syndications, even if you're only investing a few hundred thousand or, or less, um, you know, you're able to talk directly to the management teams, you're able to do your own research, 
and uh, you know really have more of a seat at the table. I call this active passive investing. So you you are able to control your own destiny and, and do really that deep that deep value analysis on what you're investing in, and uh, you know understand down to the specific properties. And uh, I, I think that is uh, far superior to uh, to Wall Street. Uh, tax benefits. I talk a lot about tax benefits. Uh, there are benefits uh, afforded to investors through uh, real estate syndications, primarily through depreciation, but also through uh, potential of future 1031 exchanges that can significantly reduce an investor's tax liability. And uh, this is, um, you know, a game changer for, for many investors that, you know, you may be able to, to save, you know, between 20% and or in some cases, uh, a specific investment could be offsetting um, active income and, and, and really saving 42 cents on every dollar invested if you're in a high tax state like New York or California. Um, wealth preservation. Uh, again, you know, the stock market can be up or down 10, 20 percent. However, if you're um, you know, into a structured real estate fund or transaction with a you know, three to seven year time horizon um, you know, with conservative leverage, you're you know, your principal investment, uh, you know, could, is, should be very well protected. And uh, with that said, there's also a significant amount of upside and an inflation hedge. So, um, you know, overall, I think these are these are really the, the main reasons why why someone, uh, you know, looks to real estate and private funds and private syndications for passive wealth. How do you make this transition? What are some of the steps you need to take to make the transition into private uh real estate funds and syndications. Uh, number one is you do need to understand your goals. You need to really understand what are your financial objectives and what is your risk tolerance? Are you still earning a solid um, W-2 or do you have an existing business that's uh, spitting off cash where you don't really need short-term cash and you're just looking for um, you know, long-term capital growth? Great, you could be in some heavier value add syndications, you could be in some ground up construction um, that should generate higher returns, but you're not going to get any cash flow for two or three years. If you're looking for mailbox money, there are other syndications that are slow and steady. There's private debt funds. There, there's plenty of opportunities that spit off cash flow monthly or quarterly and, and still have upside, but often there's a little bit less upside if you're you know, getting immediate current cash flow because the projects are more stable. You want to look for transparency. Um, you know, uh, a funded operator that discloses how they get paid, what are their fees, what is their carried interest, meaning the percentage of profits they take, uh, are they paid last, um, you know, meaning after you get all your money back plus a preferred return, um, at that point and only at that point they're getting a you know, majority of their fees. How is their communication? Are you seeing regular updates? Uh, both uh, on past performance as well as new assets and allocations that uh, you know a, a fund or syndicator is looking for. And if you do those three things and you invest or partner with uh, with with the right uh, fund managers and sponsors, um, it allows you to tap into this this uh, amazing market of, of real estate funds and syndications without having to be an operator yourself. If you think about the math, our typical partners will look at over 200 deals and um, they may find one or two a year to buy. And we have over 10 partners that uh, I've invested personal money with. We've had fund, funds money with that we've had uh, had success with. So, you know, each of them is looking at 200 deals. So we're looking at thousands of deals over the course of the year. And you know, we may pick 10 or 12 to, to invest with. So. Uh, by aligning with the right, the right group of, uh, of investors, you, know, you have the benefit of, of thousands of properties through due diligence to, to pick the, the cream of the crop or the top uh, five or 10 properties to invest in through, uh, through a fund. Or if you do want to invest in individual properties at that, at that point, they're at least very well screened and you know you're getting the best of the best and uh, you know, avoiding 90 nine percent of the of the noise of properties where the numbers don't work or they just don't have the the right fit for for an investment so i'd encourage you to uh um you know continue to dive into this private fund and real estate sector it's an amazing uh space to be in it's superior to the stock market it's changed my life uh for sure and allowed me the you know the freedom and flexibility um to you know to invest to travel to you know to really build this business around my, my personal, personal investing strategies. And it's, uh, 
uh, allows me to sleep a lot better at night than, uh, you know, worried about uh, things I can't control, like the stock market, like interest rates, etc. So um, hope this was helpful. Um, we will uh, see you on the next episode. Uh, please do uh, like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Um, subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, and uh, if you have a chance, please leave us a five-star review if you like what you're hearing. Thank you. That's all for this episode of Alternative Investor Mastermind. Now that you know the many alternative opportunities out there all up for the taking, you can finally become ultra-connected and ultra-wealthy. Get more valuable advice from the experts by subscribing to the show at alternativeinvestormastermind.com. Become a winner in the world of passive investing today in alternative investment strategies. Thank you for joining us. Until next time.